everyone. Welcome to Plants and Politics. I have some really interesting news. Lordy, there are tapes, <laughs> and they're potentially tapes of Trump and Clinton at Epstein's property. So here's the deal. It's been widely reported that accused pedophile and child sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein used secret recordings to blackmail men having sex with women and underage girls at his properties. People have long believed that that is the case, partly because both Maria Farmer and Virginia Roberts Gouffre, these two of Epstein's most well-known victims, accused Epstein of having cameras hidden throughout his New York mansion, including in the bathroom. And they both claim to have seen a room filled with monitors. There's also an Epstein employee who told prosecutors that she walked in to a darkened room one night and she didn't realize that Epstein and Maxwell were in there. And when she looked up on the screen, she saw them watching a video of Prince Andrew having sex with a young woman. Those are her allegations. But until now, there was no one who was able to attest to recordings of Trump or Clinton, even though multiple people have accused Clinton of being on Epstein's island. Trump was accused of, in a lawsuit of beating and raping a 13-year-old girl at Epstein's New York home back in the 90s, I believe it was. And she had a witness she had someone who gave sworn, a sworn deposition about this, as did this woman who alleges that he raped her at 13 years old. So now, here's what's come to light. In a meeting with a former television producer for CBS, Ira Rosen appears to have tricked Ghislaine Maxwell into admitting to the existence of recordings of Donald Trump and possibly Bill Clinton. So this conversation took place in 2016 prior to the presidential election. And Rosen, whose book was just released on Tuesday, includes the details about this conversation and back and forth with Maxwell in the book. So I've included a link to the book in the description box below so you can check it out. Rosen says that he was acting on a hunch and so here's how it went down. Rosen said to Maxwell, quote, I want the tapes. I know he was videotaping everyone and I want the tapes of Trump with the girls. To which Maxwell replied, I don't know where they are. So she didn't say there are no tapes. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't be crazy. There's no tape. No, she said, I don't know where they are. Rosen then told Maxwell to ask Epstein for them because the, quote, fate of the country is at stake. Trump could be elected president. And how would you feel if those tapes emerged after he was in office? So instead of Maxwell then denying the existence of any recordings, Rosen said, quote, she gave me a stern look and pointed a finger in my face. She said, I am the daughter of a press baron. I know the way you people think. If you do one side, you must do the other. If you get the tapes on Trump, you have to do Clinton. And Rosen agreed. He said, quote, I will. I will go wherever the story goes. So she was concerned, it appears, not that these tapes would harm Trump, but that then they would want also videos of Clinton. Maxwell also claimed that Epstein never told her where the tapes were. That's what she told to Rosen, apparently, or allegedly. In addition, as Rosen tells it, even though Maxwell supported Hillary Clinton in the presidential election, and she said, she told him that she didn't want Trump to win, she believed that Hillary had a sizable enough lead, and so there was, quote, no need for the story to come out. And then when their meeting ended, Rosen claims that he hailed a taxi for Maxwell and she asked him if he was going to go back to her place with her. He allegedly said, quote, get me the tapes and I will go back to your place. 
once again, she did not deny the existence of these recordings. She just kissed him on the cheek and left. So, yeah. I mean, it's not a, oh, yeah, I do have tapes, but it's the closest damn thing we've ever had to someone admitting that there are, in fact, recordings out there of Trump with women or underage girls at Epstein's properties. And this kind of dovetails with another book that I've been reading where a Russian source, a KGB source, told a reporter that Trump has these long ties and that to Russia, of course, and that they've kind of been cultivating him for over 40 years without his knowledge, not that he's working with them, but that these Russians also had ties to Epstein. It kind of makes sense, doesn't it? If you, if you think about it, we've long asked why Trump has such a deference towards Russia, why he's always talked about Putin and Russia in such favorable terms and treated them with kit gloves. This would explain it. I'm not saying there's proof of this connection, but it would make sense. All right, guys, I will keep you informed. And if anything else comes out, you know for a fact that I will let you know <laughs> as soon as possible. All right, as always, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Take care, and I'll talk with you soon.